Correspondent from Gaza, Nora Harrison, interviewed health workers who expressed uh, their experiences uh, with the current uh, humanitarian crisis. The destruction of uh, medical equipment, the insecurity of medical personnel and patients are some of the elements denounced. We are standing here in front of the intensive care section in the Al-Shifa medical complex, which suffers from the electricity cut and the no assistance of field despite the alarm calls from the Ministry of Health. This section was subjected to a direct bombardment early this morning by the Israeli occupation forces here in intensive care. Those children who were connected to life-saving machines, the life-support machines, were moved here to the corridors in view of the intensive attacks. Here, the people have had all life support equipment removed and are at the imminent risk of death because they have been removed from the life support machines and other life support equipment. Here, there are more than 29 patients who are victims of this tragedy, and only some of the alternative electricity remains from the USBS equipment that was left there where some patients were connected to the breathing equipment because if they move to the corridor, they will die immediately. Here the patients were moved to this area which is considered the safest because the intensive care section is not safe. These are the consequences of the Israeli bombing of this hospital. We do not know if we can move the side, we will remain safe. Before we move a little and the camera move forward a little more to transmit what happened inside the section, look at these attacks that reached the same place where the patients and medical staff were. He were destroyed the air conditioning equipment and the machines necessary to control the temperature in the intensive care unit. As you can see, the patients, instead of being connected and in their best to save their lives, this place was completely evacuated, as you can see. The medical teams were forced to do so because they were going to be objects of snipers and attacks by Israelis. This is what is happening. Even the intensive care rooms, even the patients in, in danger of death, Israelis looking to assassinate them here in the hospital. Our hospital is completely surrounded and blockaded. No one can move inside the buildings, neither inside the corridors or the rooms. No one can move inside the buildings. No one can move inside the corridors. No one can move inside the rooms. No one can move inside the hospital. Here the doctors try to save the girl and pull her some oxygen manually. This girl is suffering because of the bombings and also because of moving their beds from one place to another. This is the real picture of what is happening here in Al-Chifa Medical Complex.